setting performances such as Daryl Gwynn are due in part to some dramatic advances in clutch technology. Here to tell us more about the modern lockup clutch is the man whose name is synonymous with drag racing, Big Daddy Don Garland. Don? Well, Dave, looks like you and Steve are having a great time in Washington for the induction of Bruce Larson's funny car into the Smithsonian. I remember how exciting it was for me in 1987 when they inducted Swamp Rat 30. And it's really hard to believe that funny cars today are running as fast as Swamp Rat 30 was in 1987. And part of that performance is due to clutch technology. They take a pneumatic or hydraulic piston, they hold the throwout bearing against the arms, releasing it very slowly through the use of timers so that it is timed out to get the total clutch pack locked up by the end of the drag strip. So that's how you get the power to the ground on these 4,000 horsepower nitro fuel engines. My favorite places to sit to watch any drag race is fairly close to the starting line, where I can really appreciate all the excitement of the starting and the staging. And of course, that phenomena, unique to drag racing, the tire blazing burnout. To tell us a little bit about the techniques involved in accomplishing the proper burnout, here's our technical expert, Big Daddy Don Gerlitz. Don? A lot has been said about burnouts, and I'm sure there's some of you there that think we do the burnouts just for part of the show. That's not true. And one of the masters of a good burnout is John Force. He makes a nice, long, smooth burnout. Some of the things that you shouldn't do is, number one, you shouldn't have the engine RPM going up and down at uh, uh, uh stuff, because that's not good for the drivetrain. Another thing you shouldn't do is over rev the engine. That's if you hear the engine go real high. That's not good, but that's hard on parts. The perfect burnout doesn't want to be too far down the track because if you go too far down the track, the tires will cool off coming back. And if you go too short, you don't get the tires hot enough. Then after the burnout is completed, the last important procedure is that the crew chief back you up exactly into your tracks so that you launch off in that nice sticky rubber. This is what it takes to make a nice, good burnout that's effective and you get the maximum EP and speed out of your car vital link to the success of any pro stock operation is the transmission which in some cases is shrouded in a bit of secrecy to find out more about that and how they work here's big daddy don garlitz don underneath that aluminum floor pan is one of the most important devices for a successful pro stock operation second only to the engine the lenco four-speed transmission consisting of three independent gearboxes with a reverser each one of these boxes might have a different ratio in it. As you can see, these are coded specially by Warren Johnson. He doesn't want his competitors to know what he's running. And this ratio will be dependent upon track conditions. Now, the pro stock driver is a busy man doing a run. He's got to watch the tack, steer the car, and ship three times. Try that on top fuelers. Important for these crews to make the car go faster but it's also very important to be able to slow it down. Big Daddy Don Gerlitz has a few trailers up to take a look at some new technology in high-speed braking. Don? In drag racing, the quest has always been for more speed, but you have to stop these vehicles somewhere. And with most of the drag strips being constructed in the late 60s and early 70s when the speeds were down, what were we going to do when the speeds came up so dramatically? Well, NHRA mandated that we have dual chutes. That was good for a while, but as the cars approached 300 miles an hour, we had to have more stopping power. And here on Shirley Muldowney's car, we see the latest innovation, carbon fiber rotors and carbon fiber pucks. This came from the aircraft industry. It is a system that the hotter the brakes get, the more stopping power you need. And that's just what we need because the cars are stopping just fine on these older drag strips.